Hey guys, it's time for another prediction video, this time obviously for the Elimination Chamber. And I'm here with Big Papa Brian, also from Execution. What's going on, my friend? How are you today? Yeah, so this is uh, probably not going to be a long video like the last ones, because there's just not that many matches this time around. There are only four matches so far. I'm guessing they're probably going to throw one on the last minute just to have something on. Probably right, one either, or uh, two yeah, early matches. They'll throw one in, or they'll put one in the pre-show that they haven't discussed yet, because there's usually one match in the pre-show. Yeah, one or two, and like they probably maybe another one, but I mean, I, I don't know what they're going to throw in. I mean, it's... It, it is a raw pay-per-view, so you know that, like, Brock Lesnar is not going to be there because he only does, like, three or four pay-per-views a year. It's just part-time champion. So it's another raw pay-per-view without a championship match. Uh, well, we do have the chamber match, which, to me, is one of the best matches. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to take a while. Like, we saw, like, just a gauntlet match this week took two hours. So it's probably going to be something similar because basically the gauntlet match is almost the same thing as the elimination chamber. The thing is that the chamber actually one can get out before the first one's eliminated. So it's going mm -hmm. to be probably like instead of two hours, it's probably going to be like an hour, 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, it should be a good match. So I remember the very first elimination chamber match ever. Uh, don't remember the year. I think it might have been 2000. One or 2002, that's a Survivor Series. I was there. It was live at Madison Square Garden, and I was there with a bunch of my friends. And it was actually like, when that chamber came down, we were like, wow, this is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> uh, with the amount of match they have, they almost don't have to 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 uh, get the chamber up. I mean, two out of the four matches are going to need the chamber. May as well, well have I, the other I two matches in it. Open, they're going to probably open with the women's chamber match. Have the other matches and then close with the men's chamber match. Yeah, probably something like that. All right, so let's move it down the card. Uh, the first thing, actually, not a match, is the Ronda Rousey signing. Uh, fun fact about that: it was actually that. That's normally a segment I was supposed to say on my G spot, so that's probably going to be another uh, a duplicate of it. But uh, the Ronda Rousey ma uh, not match, but signing was originally scheduled to be at Raw after the Rumble or the week after. Uh, but they actually decided to put it on the pay-per-view because the ticket sales were terrible for Elimination Chamber in Vegas. Oh, the ticket sales are still terrible. And actually, right now, they buy one, get one free, and they still can't sell it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Even adding Ronda right now didn't make it because they can't sell. And it's it's a combination of both being in Vegas with a lot of other things going on and the fact that the the, the pay-per-view itself is not that popular right now. The card, there's just not enough match to keep people interested, so the ticket sale are just terrible. I mean, I can't see paying $500 to go to this thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a 2 a for one It's ridiculous. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that for a show, let alone a pay-per-view. I know I have friends who live in Vegas. Like my friend is actually really mad. He's taking his son to the event because him and his son both love wrestling. They both like really into it. And he's like really mad because he already bought his tickets. Yeah. He's like, if I would have known that, I would have waited. Yeah. So he like yeah, he that totally screws the one that did buy those tickets already. No, he, he actually complained, and they gave him a uh, part of his money back. Oh, that's nice though. So, you know, yeah. if you complain, you know if. If you complain to the right people, you can get things done. That, that's one of the reasons they're dropping the single brand pay per views, also. And they're all going to yeah, be co branded so after many WrestleMania. Pay -per -views. You know, every two weeks, it's too much. Yeah. They're, they're canceling three of them, and they're, they're all going to be co branded and one per month, so 12 total. Because right now, it's basically every three weeks 17? or so, there's one. It's like 17 or 18 pay per views a year right now? Yeah. So. You know, the major ones were always a co-branded. Uh, that was Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, um, SummerSlam. Yeah, you know those were the major ones. And then you had, they all had one every month. So you thought what, sixteen, seventeen a year? Yeah, it's crazy. So I I don't much. expect much out of the Ronda Rousey Ronda Rousey signing, other than they're probably going to start uh, basically building the feud with Stephanie. Although we don't know yet if it's going to be just her versus Stephanie or or if it's going to be Stephanie and Triple H versus Ronda and 
the plan is the rock but they don't know if he's going to be available or medically right. scared otherwise it could be said Roland, braun or even angle or shane well they're definitely pushing for something big with rollins at wrestlemania yeah Definitely, based on the on his performance in the match on Monday Night Raw, they're definitely doing something big with him. I don't think he's going to win the Chamber match. No, but. no, that's going to go well. I, I'll get on that later. Yeah, well, <laughs> when, we, when we get to that match, we'll talk yeah. about it. But <laughs> the, probably agree. The, the the first real match is going to be Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, All right, so th- that's one of those matches where I'm going to get up, go get a drink, make myself a snack, and have somebody call me when it's over. Yeah, not not really interested in the match itself. I'm interested in not seeing those vignettes of those two anymore because yes. they're all – I mean, they're fine, but it's the same thing no, over and over and over. It's always the same thing. It's enough. So Enough's it, enough it with gets it, old really quick. And it seems that that's what they do with uh, Wyatt. It, it basically pick one guy, and you're gonna have the same thing over and over with him for a long time, and then switch to another guy. <laughs> right. I mean, listen, Wyatt—he he goes over with the crowd very well. Yeah. Uh, this whole Woken theme with Matt Hardy definitely going over with the crowd really well. It, I, I guess they couldn't use the, the broken theme because it was um, trademarked by Ring of yeah. Honor. Yeah, they actually dropped the trademark though. So they allowed them to use it. But they've already started with this whole Woken thing. Yeah, I think maybe it was, they'll become it was the Broken Hardys. You know, once Jeff is healthy again. Yeah. You know, but and Matt Hardy doing we'll, it. By we'll we'll see if Jeff comes back at, as Jeff or Brother Nero. Right. <laughs> that that they may change it back, but by then it might be too late to change it from Woken to Broken, or maybe they're gonna broke the Woken so that they call it Broken now. I don't know. It depends on the deal they got with uh, Ring of Honor. Like they, they, they just signed the deal for they they are allowed the footage of uh, the broken gimmick, but that could be just for the Matt RD DVD that's coming. Oh, that's and possible. Not, not for TV, but they do have. Well, they they don't. It's not that they have the right to the broken gimmick, but they're allowed and not gonna be fought for if they go with the broken. But knowing Vince, well, I don't know Vince, but knowing Vince's reputation and everything, he probably wants them to use their own stuff with the Woken and not use yeah, someone I mean, else's creation. The originator, you know, that's for sure. Yeah, that's putting his spin on it. As far as the match is concerned, I honestly don't care either way. I don't even care to make a prediction. Yeah, it's a rematch of the one at Raw 25th and nobody cared back then. Yeah, I went to the bathroom and washed my hands and had a snack then too. I mean, it's it's... It's ridiculous that they're taking matches they show on Monday Night Raw and, and turn, trying to turn them into pay-per-view matches. Yeah, especially with so many guys that don't have a match. <laughs> that could have had true. there. There's like there, there's no tag match on that on that card. Uh, you, you would have right. think that you would have think a that with the build up they had that they would have put like Sheamus and Cesaro versus uh, versus the. Uh, the new guys. The I just have revolution in the in, in mind. I know who you're talking about. I can't think of the name either. Yeah. I'm, or even I'm, against. I'm, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Even against the Ballot Club. Yeah. 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 yeah they could have done that too. Uh, after that, Mesca versus Anaya Jax. Uh, I I think that one's obviously going to be an Aska victory. Yeah, they're building that up like crazy, and I don't know why anybody would even think that they're gonna end the the win streak yeah. just yet. If they're gonna end the win streak, I think the only person that could yeah, end Ronda. that win streak would be Charlotte or Ronda. Or Ronda, yeah. But I would think Charlotte, like the only person active on the WWE roster right now, that would be Charlotte. Yeah. So I could foresee her winning the match and then going on to WrestleMania to fight Charlotte and losing. Yeah, that that, that would be one possibility. But yeah, I don't think Naya. She's definitely not losing. And they, they don't know what to do with Naya. I mean, she she she's too she's too strong to to have us. Uh, it's kind of like Braun Strowman. Too right. too big physically, manhandling everybody else to have anyone else be believable as a contender against her. So they don't know what to do with her storyline was, but they don't want to break the Asuka streak either. It kind of reminds me of Beth Phoenix back in the day. Yeah. 
So she it, like it kind of looks they don't know what to do. Like, and they had the story with her and Enzo, but ob- obviously <laughs> with Enzo gone, yeah, that dropped that too. So they don't really know what to do with her. And I mean, her character is not that interesting either. Anyway, no, she's just this big chick who comes out here and destroys everybody. Yeah, and, and I mean the whole that. Enzo thing was stupid because I mean she, she she was way too bubbly for for her on-screen persona. Her, right, exactly. Like, so it wasn't her. Yeah, so that 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 was, like, cringeworthy. So I, I don't know what they're... I mean, it doesn't look like they know what they're doing anyway. They're, it's basically, well, those two don't are not part of the match, so let's add them on a match. Right, so let, let's get every woman on the roster in this match. Because, I mean, why is Naya not on the, on the Elimination Chamber otherwise? Right. Well, the same thing is like should have been there, should... but then again, you know, all the other six are screwed. <laughs> you put her in there, how, how is she going to lose? That's the yeah. Thing. And, and and why does the female elimination chamber is for the title, while the male one is for a shot at the title? Well, what I really love is how Alexa Bliss came out and actually said that. Yeah, she's like, wait, wait a minute, like how come I have to defend my title, but Brock doesn't? Like, and, and I don't know if that was scripted or not. Like, I really like, they really shut her up quick when she said that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is kind of stupid though. Well, it, it's possible that like it was scripted, but it, it was a way for them just to put one on Brock. Well, like, that's ju- possible. Ju- just a shot at him. You know what? They gave him that contract. You know, they knew what they were getting into when they gave yeah. him that contract. And they keep the freaking belt on him. I wouldn't care if he was the, if he wasn't the champion that he just came in every once in a while. But he's the fucking champion. Time. Where's the belt? We don't see it was on it WrestleMania. Road. It was WrestleMania, right? Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be, he's gonna be he's gonna be there for WrestleMania because it's a big show. But but yeah, think of this: he defends the title at WrestleMania. That's him holding the title for a full year as yeah. a part time. So yeah, I mean, we're missing like, the title on every freaking shows. That would be like me becoming a part-timer and being called the principal of the school. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm part-time, but I'm the principal. I mean, I can't wait to, for him to drop the title so we can actually see the belt. Like, It's, it's the only belt we never see. I mean, right. we, see, we see the Cruiser belt more than, than we do the, the raw belt. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and it's, a, it's weird also there's no Cruiserweight. Oh, they're probably going to add a Cruiserweight match to the... Uh, the pre-show. To their pre-show. Well, maybe not because they're doing the whole like the tournament. Tour- tournament. So I don't know. They're they're pretty far from being over. Like they're, they're probably going to have finals. to end at WrestleMania. The, the tournament. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Which makes sense. All right. Uh, third and almost last match: the female uh, elimination chamber. Which, since WrestleMania is the next pay per view, there's no way they're switching the champion. Well, that's the thing. They also don't have an opponent for Alexa Bliss right now. Well, it's we Asuka. don't know who Asuka's going to choose. Well, Asuka we, has not made a choice yet. Yeah, well. And, yeah. and my prediction is that she's going to choose Charlotte because Charlotte's the better competitor. Yeah. I think so, I, heard, I heard... Didn't she talk about Alexa? Well, she talked about Charlotte too, though. Yeah. I, I'm, so she has I, I, I thought it was said that it was going to be against Alexa. I mean, I don't recall that. You could be right. I don't recall that. But I can't see Alexa losing this match as much as I would love to see Sasha win the match. Yeah. You know you know me and Sasha, my little love fest that I have with her. Yeah, the one more shirt that. is not going to win is Mickey James. She's there as a filler. Um, Mickey James is not going to win it, and neither is anybody from the Riot Squad. Yeah. They're not, not the Riot Squad. Um, well, uh, Absolution. Absolution, yeah. I keep confusing those two groups. Yeah. I loved Mandy Mandy Rose with Goldust. Yeah, that was they pretty cool. They were great. I wish there that was, was more cool. of that, but yeah. But definitely the best team in that mixed match challenge is uh yeah. Charlotte and Bobby Roode. Yeah, well, they're they're definitely uh, similar gimmicks. So. But then again, I can't see Asuka and the Miz. Miz. Yeah, they're probably gonna win that whole thing. Yeah, maybe. But then again, I mean, yeah, well. Because there's a team like Alexa and Braun is a tough, that's a tough, tough one too, team but... as well. But you could have Asuka defeat uh, de- defeat Alexa, and then 
Right. Because Miz can't be like we saw on Raw. Miz does, unless, doesn't ch- stand a chance against Braun. Unless Braun, you know, beats the Miz, and that's how they lose. And yeah, Oscar's still or, undefeated if he didn't lose. Because so far, like with the max, the the mixed uh, match, there's no, there's not really any uh, outside interference and things like that during those matches. So you can't right. say like, oh, Braun is running a feud with whatever, and that guy's coming down distracting Braun and. There, there's right. not really any interference for their. It's pretty much all clean matches. Right. We, I, I guess, well, once, once we see the Asuka and uh, and the Miz, we'll know really if those match are clean because we'll see if there's the Miz Taraj, Since normally Miz can do a match on his own. He's gender no. 2.0. He, he always has someone interfere. He can't never just do a match on his own. I would love to see a match between Jinder and the Miz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd be a six that'd be a three on three it's a six pack challenge yeah exactly. <laughs> but i can't see alexa losing this i would love to see yeah. sasha win it you know i i think to alexa is gonna see who's gonna win it uh i think bailey's gonna turn on on sasha they're building That's toward the a eel yeah. turn for That's bailey the WrestleMania match. yeah they've they've been working on that so and right now they're, they've pretty much made it like it's three teams of two like you got obviously the absolution girls you got bailey and sasha and they on raw they tried to put mickey with alexa to be like another team of two so they made three teams of two uh so we know like absolution is not going to turn on each other but they're two new and they're new and not really big names yet either so they're not going to get a big push and get win something out of that so that pretty much leaves uh, Bailey, Sasha, and Alexa, and with the build up for Bailey turning heel, probably gonna turn on Sasha, is gonna screw it over. So that pretty much leaves Alexa with the belt for WrestleMania. Sounds about right. What? Sounds about right. Yeah. Now the men's match. Yeah. That's a. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like so obvious now at this point. Well, it it is obvious that it's gonna be Roman, but. That may change until Sunday, because uh, there's information about Roman coming out before Sunday, like the uh, I don't know remember the Rodriguez and the guy that had proof that Roman was uh, taking steroids and buying from him uh, wow. in 2017. Uh, the, the DEA released his laptop, so he got his laptop back with his proofs and everything, and he posted on YouTube that uh, they they had and a screenshot of conversation with Romans and everything and they said that they were going to be posting the 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 proof shortly and they were asked is it going to be before Sunday so that we can get that out and they don't give the the chance to Roman and they say that's the plan so they might well, release the that info the before is, the pay-per-view so well, let's assume they release the info before Sunday then it has to be authenticated yeah, and uh, I mean, from what I saw, it's basically just uh, like a contact info from his computer and shit. I mean, I I can make that up in two minutes. Right, exactly. And you know, even if it is authentic contact info, well, if you're good enough of a hacker, if you're good enough of a of a uh, researcher, you can get that info. Like I could pop up on my screen right now. Oh, look, Roman Reigns. Here's his phone number. Here's his address. Yeah. Oh, look, I have Roman Reigns' info. So therefore, I must be selling him drugs. Yeah, but in this right. day and age, though. They don't really care whether it's true or not. Just the fact that it's out in public and looks bad is more often than not enough. Well, here's the thing. If they, if they have an actual conversation um, of, first of all, if you're ever going to buy drugs, don't text message a guy saying, I want to buy drugs from you. That's, I mean, <laughs> but that's, that's aside from the point. Neither here nor there. I, I don't think he has anything that damning that he's going to be able to to show screenshots of the, of the damn thing. Again, yeah. showing a screenshot of the fact that he has Roman Reigns' contact info doesn't mean anything. I mean, they already know he took steroids. Hell, he got suspended twice for it. He did get suspended twice, and he failed two drug tests, and he served those suspensions. Yeah. It is what it is. You, you, you cannot – I can't foresee them changing anything. 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, with everything set for WrestleMania, it would be it would have to be really damaging. So that's that's the only the only hiccup I could see with that outcome. So I I think it's still gonna be him because everything's pointing toward it. But Correct. there's a little doubt depending on what's gonna be coming out and how bad it is. But it's it's gonna be pretty bad for it to change. Yeah, I could see that, but. Why? Again, you know, it, it's very obvious, especially with him not winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah. That Roman is going to go on and win the Chamber, go on to WrestleMania, dethrone Brock. Like that—that that seems to have been the plan for a long time now. Yeah. Like, like, like and th- and these guys, like, y- you have Elias and the Miz. You know, they're not going to win this. Like Elias, I don't I love, even know I what do the love, hell he's doing in there. I do love the push they're giving Elias. Yeah, I love Elias. I love the character. I would actually love very much if they were doing a face push with Elias. It would be so fun. But then his songs wouldn't be as funny. Yeah, well, hey, you, you could do good. I mean, the, it's pretty much always the same song, whatever the city that he's doing. So it, it'd be pretty funny to, to have him as a face. But even as a heel, I love the Elias segments. It's really great. The guy has a ton of charisma. So it's it's great segment, but he's not main event status. Like he, he's not, not, he, not he, he's not he's he's the level he's at right now is nowhere near all these other guys. So he's definitely the odd man out in that group. And you got you got Cena in the match, and that's also another factor. And is like, yeah. well, Cena owes Brock an ass whooping. Yeah. So that's not like they could just be hyping this up to make us think that Roman's going to win. And I could also see like Roman versus Seth being at WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, like, Seth, Seth versus was Cena was a really good match on Monday. Yes. They did awesome. It was the best match of the night. So that was yes. really enjoyable to see. But they do have to find something for Cena at WrestleMania. But I'm guessing that whatever Cena is going to do as WrestleMania is going to be from something that's going to happen with someone in that chamber. That's possible. That's probably what's going to happen. Like they're, they're Roman is going to win the match, but like they're going to they're going to have don't, like I just a, don't want some, Roman to win. As, as much as I yeah, I just don't want Roman. I don't to win. I don't want him to win either, but Although if, if he does win, I want him to beat Brock because I don't want Brock having that title. Yeah, and Rollins doesn't really have anything for WrestleMania either, Balor neither. So I'm guessing there's going to be something between Cena and one one of these two, and that's going to set up that match for WrestleMania. Well, you know, we need to have we have Balor versus uh, Rollins at WrestleMania. That, and I'll that, tell you why. That'd be nice. No, I'll tell you why. Because we finally need to settle the debate that's been going around WWE champions for so long. Yeah. Of which one is better. Yeah, and also uh, the the thing with Rollins is that uh, they they have plans, they have possible plans for him uh, against the Miz for the IC title at Mania, because they want to do either Braun versus Miz or uh, Rollins versus Miz. But I I don't get why they would want to do Braun versus Miz. I mean, even Braz versus the old Miz Touraj, they don't stand a chance. So no, that no that way. match would be over quick, but it's all depending on what the hell they're doing with Ronda. Right. I think that's so how, exactly until right. that is settled, all these guys probably don't know what the hell they're doing in a month. Exactly. <laughs> well, somebody knows. Somebody out there knows. That, well, that they got a couple of plans. Like they got B, C, and D plans, but they won't know which mm-hmm. one's going to be the one on, until they know what the hell is going to be up with Ronda. Right. So I hope that we do have something on that on Sunday more than just okay she signed her contract and now okay now she's feuding right, with that, Steph. Right. Like you know what honestly if they just have her sign her contract and that's it that's kind of just a filler like and, and yeah. I hate when they do that. Well I'm guess I mean the thing with Ronda also is that okay she she's a great fighter UFC fighter so it's probably not too far fetched that she can get the whatever training you need to have to switch from a real fighter to a wrestler well, yeah, for TV. Well, yeah, can't be much different. You just have to actually not hit people. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it, it, she, she at least has a better base than someone who doesn't have any wrestling training at all. Definitely. But she probably needs a lot of, and we saw it at WrestleMania, 
she definitely needs some charisma camera training because yeah, her, that's her for sure. acting wasn't that great at WrestleMania. That's for sure. And I don't like that they're using the whole rowdy theme with her. Yeah. Right, that's, you know, let the man rest in peace. Yeah, but she, she was a big fan of him and she's real close with the family. So that, And it's, okay. it's his actual ja- the jacket she had was the actual jacket of uh, Hot Rod. Wow. So it, it was given to her by her daughter, I think. So it's it's the real jacket. So that's why they're using that. She's a big fan, and and her the, the she's such a big fan that the the hot brother hot rod Roddy Raya Ronda was her team in the in the UFC. That that's the name she used then. So that's why they're keeping it with a with that gimmick. I'm sure. Plus, she has the yeah, blessing of the family. Sense. That definitely makes a lot of sense. But yeah, she could. They could have come up with something on her own. But I mean, if it works out with her, and I'm sure they're going to push for it to go that way, there's probably going to be tons of different merchandise. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Anything to make a buck. Yeah, they're they're, they're going to put her in champions. <laughs> right, and she. <laughs> yeah, I, I know she's going to be in SuperCard. Probably well, yeah. the, there's a new deck that comes out for a new tier for uh, WrestleMania 34, and she's going to be one of the card that it's heavily rumored. I, mean, I don't know much about SuperCard, but I'm sure when they add the women to champions, she's going to be one of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So that's She'll pretty. Uh, that pretty much sums up uh, the pay per view. Like, uh, not uh, not a lot of the matches to talk about. Only four matches plus the signing. But, but we'll be back. Uh, two two, two of those for... matches are going to be long, so we'll be, we'll, we will be back in two weeks for fast lane. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, and uh, like uh, just a couple of weeks after that, uh, WrestleMania. So and that's the one I really look forward to. Mark Mark told me you might do the uh, the next one with us. Hey, listen, if there's a way to get the three of us on here, that'd be awesome. I, I asked him for tonight, but he was doing his stream. Yeah. <laughs> So ne- next time there may there may be three of us. Sounds great. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you're not sub on my channel, make sure to do so to be kept informed. Do the same thing for Brian's channel as well, so you can Thank see you his guys. content. And uh, hey guys, listen, I need 400 more subscribers to hit that thousand mark. So let's go. Yeah, be sure be sure to get those 400 guys. You get that that thousand mark. That thousand mark is really important now. And uh, if you like the video, leave a like. And if you have comments, feel free to leave them. So thanks for watching, guys. Ciao. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy the pay-per-view.